Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing the second inner from the same master of 2018 Panini Classics Football. We've seen some really nice stuff in the first inner case, and hopefully we'll see some nice stuff in the second inner case, which will be the top one. And here is Pick Your Team 2 on a Thursday. Thanks, everyone, for getting into this one, for filling this one up. Brandon with that last spot mojo. Jacksonville Jaguars, and there's everybody else. Thanks, everyone. Here, let me need some space here. Open up this uh, open up this case. So this break, like I said, break does take about an hour. So get comfortable. And if you're watching the replay, then just fast forward through all this stuff. You don't have to watch the whole thing. So there's two, four, six, eight, and ten. So five in the front, five in the back. That makes ten. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, that's interesting. You did see correctly, Andrew K. Good eye. Sharp eye. Michael Gallucci, the steel curtain in the chat, picked up the Cincinnati Bengals. What's the story there? I think his father-in-law is a Bengals fan now that I think about it. <laughs> Maybe he's being a good son-in-law. Good son All right. Let's do this one. Good luck. Oh, there it is. Yeah. He needs some Father's Day presents. There you go. Well, football is family, they say. Good luck, box number one. So we are expecting one autograph, it says on top, one autograph and one memorabilia per box. I've seen a couple on average. We've seen some above average boxes in the last break. I think a couple of boxes had an extra, an extra relic card. I like the design this year. A lot of fun parallels. And as everybody knows, I'm sure everyone read the item description, no vet base or college base card ship, all short prints, variations, chrome cards, autographs, and relics will ship. So you'll get all the good stuff. more packs and we'll dive into our first box. Good luck everybody. Best of luck to all. <clears throat> a little sip of some tea there with some honey. My voice throat's a little scratchy. Too many breaks. Voice is going already. It's only Thursday. All right, here we go. Good luck, everyone. Oh, first autograph is the Duke. Duke Johnson. Duke Dawson. Not Duke Johnson. Four out of ten. Nice. And he goes... Where's my mouse? There it is. Do I have the check? I closed the checklist? No, I did not close the checklist. There it is. Duke Dawson is a patriot. So that goes to New England. That'll be for Karen with her Patriots. All right. And the numbers are usually on the left side here, which is nice. There's Mike Singletary. Out of 299, Kevin Tolliver. And then we have Minka Fitzpatrick, out of 99. Sometimes the numbers are hard to see. There's Mike Ditka for Dub Bears, out of 299.
And Troy Aikman. Nice photography in this set. That Troy Aikman, that'll go to the Cowboys. That'll be for James with the Cowboys. And if you, if, I, if you happen to see me miss a numbered card, our shipping team, while they're sorting everything, they, they, they'll they spot everything. And they'll make sure they'll pull it and send it out to you. There's the stickers. I love those stickers. Alvin Kamara for the Saints. And these should be numbered. They are 25 out of 175. Terry Bradshaw for Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. And obviously, we'll look up all the pro teams for these guys before they get sent out, too. Uh, this will be a left-right randomizer. And some of them are numbered. If, if they're numbered, we will, um, we will randomize that separately. I don't think I've, we've seen a Packers sticker yet. There's their 1996 schedule. Stephon Diggs to 299. Rayfield Wright to 299. Brian Urlacher for the Bears to 25. 17 out of 25. Nice. Yeah, I like the look of these cards too. Yeah, I like the pennant look too. I'm I want to be I want to be a pennant guy. I'm going to start collecting pennants, I think. And the pennant design is nice right here. The pennant and the stickers are cool too. Do all the teams have stickers? Do, does someone, is that on, I'm assuming it's on the checklist. All right, next box. I feel like each year, Classic seems to get better and better each year. All right, good luck everybody, box two. <coughs> so meanwhile, there, the Warriors and Rockets are are in a dogfight, ladies and gentlemen. I think they've they've been they've been exchanging one or two point leads throughout the entire game. It seems like they're Warriors eighty, Rockets seventy nine in Houston with about a little under eight minutes left. The game on the TV right there, a little under eight minutes left in that game. Right, so Cruz is saying only eleven teams have those pennant stickers. Got it. Out of 299, there's Matt Stafford. Randy White to 299. Luke Falk to 299. And these, these will get top loaded before they get shipped out. But just in the interest of time, I'm just gonna soft sleeve those. Nick Foles, MVP sticker for the Eagles. And Todd Gurley, blank back, 33 out of 35. Nice. 
These ones are pretty cool. Rams, that'll be EA with the Rams. And your autograph is a chrome autograph. John Kelly from Tennessee. And John Kelly will go to the Rams as well, an EA. Is that why EA got the Rams for Tennessee guys? Maybe. There you go, Eric. I'll set that right here. Callan Bellage out of two ninety nine. And Cam Newton. Cam Newton relic not numbered. That'll go to the Panthers, that'll be for Nick and the Panthers. Denzel Ward. Out of 99, DJ Moore. Cam Newton again to 99. And we've got Corey Davis. That's a buyback autograph. Three out of 10 for Eric. EA Sports is in the game. Ah, good question. A Andrew K asking, where where are my pennies tonight? Nice one, Eric. That's from uh, last year's playoff football. It's a buyback autograph. One buyback per inner case. The last one was Tim Brown. This one was a nice, another receiver. Corey Davis. There's Tom Brady. <clears throat> um, I had pennies on some baseball games, which are not going well. I had them on Pittsburgh. They lost. White Sox, they got crushed. Uh, the Indians, they got they got beat too. The Rangers, I think that I think they were in the process of getting beat. Not a good day. Baseball wise. No, Rangers lost to the Royals. And I think I took who did I took in the late game? I took Milwaukee in the late game. And they're, they're about to be shut out. It's bottom of the ninth. They're down five runs. So no good plays. Or I took the under on that game too. So that, that's the only thing I'm going to win today. It's not a good day baseball-wise. On the basketball game, I took, uh, I took Kevin Durant. A very long shot on the triple-double. That was just a lottery ticket. Um, I thought he'd get a double-double. I don't think he's on double-double level yet. He's got 29, 3, and 3 rebounds, 0 assists. I was hoping he'd get that double-double at least. I don't know if he's even going to get the points. Took over on the points, and then just over on rebounds, over on assists. Just because I thought he wouldn't be able to be stopped by the Rockets, but I guess the Rockets are kind of stopping everybody. Could this game go to overtime? Put a, I, put, I put a lottery ticket penny on uh, on overtime yes at plus 1,200. So I felt like this one was going to be close. And I am, uh, I'm so far, Warriors are four points down. They could turn this into an overtime game. overtime. Alright, a few more packs to go here. All right, good luck everybody. There's downtown Antonio Brown leading things off. There's Rod Woodson to 299. 
Steve Young and Jerry Rice. Nice classic combos. There's Ben Roethlisberger orchestrating. Cortland Sutton. Lights, camera, action. And Josh Allen. Wow, nice. Nice Josh Allen autograph for the Bills. EA Sports, it's in the game. This guy starts week one, right? That is two out of three, Eric. I was like, where's the number? I couldn't find it because there's only two numbers. Two out of three. That is nice. And that is an all aboard, the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. That is a, that's a nice one. Does he start week one, folks? I set this aside for, for picture times. At Jaspie's Hobbyland, Twitter, at Jaspie's Hobbyland, Instagram. You'll see you'll see that picture of the out of three, Josh Allen. Out of two ninety nine, Jury Alexander. Out of 299, Joe Mixon, Bengals. No? Both Tej and Andrew K saying AJ McCarron's gonna get a chance first. How long of a leash does AJ McCarron have then? Two weeks? Three weeks? More? Out of 50, Darren Carrington the second. My homies, Patrick Mahomes, two ninety nine. We uh, we met. Oh, nice, nice sticker. EA Titans, nice logo sticker. And nice Baker Mayfield. Out of 65, that card is gold. Man, I just didn't think he'd go number one, but he did. There you go, Browns, Andrew Quick. Well, it'd be good for the hobby if all those quarterbacks started. <laughs> There's Steve Young, Legends to 99. And we've got some classic combos. Nice, Jim Kelly, Andre Reed, and a shake, and a milkshake. Oh, I see. Andrew, uh, Andrew K, I, I, don't, I don't think I realized. I knew you were out in that direction, but I didn't realize you were a Bills season ticket holder. There you go. So you hope they give him some time. And you're saying the fans would turn quick. It's about six weeks of AJ McCarron. I mean, they're they're a borderline playoff team. If if AJ McCarron and or Josh Allen slot right in, could be good. We met Josh Allen. Sorry, I think I didn't kind of tailed off on that story. We met Josh Allen at the NFLPA rookie premiere, which was great. He he uh, he's a uh, I don't know what um, how he's been looking in front of the press, in front of the media out there, Andrew K, and then others in, in that neck of the woods. But uh, he carries himself well, I thought. Very loose, really funny, you know, kind of a dry sense of humor. Which I like. I, I kind of have a dry sense of humor. So, so I, I like... Uh, like Josh Allen. And the, and the guys that were there at the NFLP Rookie Premiere, thanks to Panini and GTS for uh, for inviting us there. It was a lot of fun. They, um, 
It was, just, it was just a lot of fun. But all, all the guys that were there, Bradley Chubb was there, Lamar Jackson, Baker Mayfield, Sam Darnold, and Saquon Barkley were there. And they all seemed to respond well to Josh Allen. Everyone's, well, they all seemed to get along well with each other, I guess. You know? They they're sort of have like a... You know, like we're all in this draft class kind of brotherhood. So they seem to get along pretty well. Still competitive, you know. They're still giving each other giving each other crap, throwing shade on each other's teams and whatnot. But they're all seem, they all seem to have a good time. All right, good luck. Some upside down cards here. There's Derek Carr. Need him to have a good season. The Raiders will go the way Derek Carr goes. Nice sticker for the Denver Broncos. That'll be for uh, Brandon Thomas with the Broncos. Ladanian Tomlinson out of 175. I see. Yeah, because I thought I thought you were you were a lot closer to to Hiller and. Uh, there's out of 50. Close to Hiller and Eddie out there. But then you made your way back. Did you work with them, Andrew K? Nice. I, I like these, uh, these no names right here. That goes to the Purple Birds, Joe Hauer with the Ravens. You got the nice Terrell Suggs, no name variation, which they now number eight out of ten. I think a few when three years ago or so, when they first came out, they didn't number them. So you would have to kind of, if there were blank backs, we had to look at the back of everyone. But they cleaned that part up, which I think is a lot nicer. It's easier to follow. DeAndre Hopkins for the Texans. Out of ninety nine, Dak Prescott for James. Right, James and his Cowboys. I think his Cowboys. And we've got Legends, Charlie Taylor, 10 out of 10. I don't remember Charlie Taylor. But I'm sure Josh Pruce might, maybe, or other Redskins fans, perhaps. There's some information here. Oh, okay. I got it. A running back started his career. Taylor switched to split end partway through the 1966 season and tallied a league-high 72 receptions. Teammates insist he could have started any position. He could run, he could throw the ball if he needed to, he could kick off, return punts, return kickoffs, and could catch the ball, Brig Owen said. There you go. Charlie Taylor, knowledge. Um, there's Bryce Bobo out of 299. Out of 299, Warren Sapp. Oh, Andrew K., you did. Oh, okay. Transfer home. There you go. Gotcha. Um, you must know. You must know Johnny then too, right? Uh, Solcito, I think. There's Jared Goff. <laughs> yeah, Charlie Taylor, the Otani of football. Exactly, Andrew K. Uh, there's Jared Goff, Relic, for the Rams, EA with that one. Mike Wagner. Sometimes these are numbered, but they're on the right side. i got to watch out for that. There's Tom Brady. Oh, there's an I in there, yeah. Okay, so you know that whole crew. Um, John and and Eddie, when at the National in Atlantic City, they came down for like a few nights. Hiller couldn't make it. I think his daughter's birthday was that week or something like that. Uh, was that weekend or something. So he, he couldn't make it. But uh, And he was bummed too. I think Hiller was kind of pissed. He was just like, oh, I wish I would have went. But like me, Eddie, and John, we, we like played blackjack and had, and had booze with the boss man. Till like 2 in the morning or something like that. It was a lot of fun.
and hang out. So those guys were pretty cool. Those guys, Andrew K, were that crew was a, was one of our I think our first sort of our first sort of crew of regulars in this group back when we started like four years ago. So they they've got they're they're they're, they're old school. But it was, it was cool to cool to hang out with Eddie and John. Yeah, yeah, we got to, we we got to legit hang out. I mean, you know, they they used to um, they used to hang out all the time. They were our first regulars. They used to hang out all the time, spend a ton of money, you know, goof off with us. And even when they weren't spending as much, they would still hang out. And so when when we when they said we were going to Atlantic City, they were like, "Oh, Eddie was like, we're down. We're going to we're going to go there. We got to we got to meet you." And so it was a lot of fun. We had drinks and blackjack. Just hanging out. Not, not much more fun than that. And we've we've got a I, I think maybe it's it's because of the maybe it's because of scheduling schedules. You know, because correctional officers often have like a weird schedule, but I feel like we got a lot of we a lot of correctional officers that end up working with us. Um, Arthur Peru, you've seen, you've seen him in the. I think you've seen him in the room a number of times, Andrew. He he's in Arizona. Arthur also currently a correctional officer. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Oh, I haven't seen this one. Look at this. Michael Gallucci. When are they going to bring this logo back? Look at this guy. This guy is almost as great as the brown as the elf that the Browns have. They need to they need to bring this back. I I don't think I've ever seen that in my entire life. I'm sure you have, but there's Isaiah Crowell, five out of twenty five for the Browns. Is that really his name, Josh? Steely McBeam? And for the Purple Birds, out of 25, Justin Tucker. You don't see a lot of kicker autographs. Joe Hauer, Ravens guy Joe. That's a good one. There's Dalvin Cook to 299. I want the, I, I, this guy needs to come back. That guy needs to come back. I, I don't know how, but they need to bring that guy back. Uh, 299, Alshon Jeffrey. Thanks to Alshon Jeffrey for helping me win a uh, Super Bowl prop bet. I got to thank him every time I see him. Appreciate it. Jan Stenerud. Another, another kicker. Josh Allen. There's Nick Foles for the Eagles for the fly. Eagles fly. Jim Taylor blank back three out of thirty five. Nice. Set that right there. Packers, that'll be for Sam Roll. There's Eric Dickerson out of 99. And we've got a Von Miller relic for the Broncos. Um, who has the Broncos again? Brandon Thomas has the Broncos. There you go, Brandon. Yeah, yeah, start a petition, Seal Curtain. Put it on your fancy uh, law firm letterhead. Put the fear of God into the uh, the Rooney family. <laughs> oh man, there that's uh, Ogbonia Okorong Oko out of two ninety nine. 
Oko. Onto to Compo. All right, we are halfway through this break, folks. Ah, nice, EA catching up. Ah, you're welcome, I'll show you, I'll, I'll show it to you again. It's worth looking at again, Josh Allen. I was literally couldn't find, I couldn't see the number, like you can barely see it. And then I was like, oh, cause it's only two digits. Growing up, Josh cleaned tables at his mom's restaurant. Nice, good guy, Josh Allen. Good guy, Josh Allen, <laughs> still love this guy. We're going to learn more about this guy after the break. No, I don't want to. I, 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 we know the Steelers are, yeah, we know they got history. I want to know more, more about this guy. Let's get more of that. They need to make cards of that guy. Oh, no worries, EA. That's what I, that's what I thought. That's why I thought you got the Rams. I feel, like, I feel like you were on kind of a cold streak last week, EA, but I think you're, you might be back to your winning ways this week. So that is the, is, is he, is there like a, is there like an oversized mascot of that guy that runs around during games? If not, they really need to get that guy out there. Black and Gold says you've got a few hats with that guy. And your wife has a jacket of that dude? Oh man. That's awesome, Scott. Oh, no worries, Brandon. Oh, well, Tops did make a patch card one year, Scott saying. Okay. That's pretty cool. They, they, they gotta bring him back. Him? Uh, they got to bring that guy back, and they got to bring, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, that, that elf for the Cleveland Browns. They got to bring that elf back. He looks, he looks just like Bill Cowher. <laughs> All right, next box. We are halfway there. There's Warren Moon, Vikings edition. Oh, man. Sorry about that. All right, there we go. Dan Marino. We got out of 25, The Edge, Edger James. That's out of 25. For the Colts, Jeremy Merle. Is Chris Paul hurt? That's what. At a two ninety nine, Telvin Coleman. Oh, I'm I'm definitely researching Steely McBeam. Absolutely. This game might go to overtime. I I might win some pennies on the overtime. That that would save my save my day actually. Go to overtime. Let's OT it up, guys. Get, get us some bonus basketball. Out of 50, Leonard Williams. There's the Jets. Back in the day. Don't like that part right there. I'll save that Baker Mayfield too. We got Keyshawn Berea, one out of 49. Goes to the Broncos, that'll be for Brandon Thomas. There you go, Brandon.
Out of 299, Roquan Smith. The dual relic is classic combos, Tyreek Hill, Kareem Hunt. Out of 99, Blake Bortles. More stickers, Cowboys, featuring that 95 season. Steel Curtain doesn't want to look at that. Darius Geis out of 175. Four boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. No worries, Brandon. Wait, so you have a you have a patch card of of Ceiling McBeam, but J Jonathan Dwyer Ceiling McBeam? No, oh, yeah, we don't speak of that Super Bowl, Joe. Says says Steel Curtain. Good luck, everyone. Oh, that's not going to help me get overtime. Hitting those, hitting those timely free throws. Playing good basketball like that. No, nope, game over. Wow. So the Rockets win 98 to 94. They take the lead in the series. Three to two going into Golden State. But how injured is CP3? Very injured, not injured. So they're going to go to Golden State. Could both series go go to seven? I mean, you got to think LeBron just goes bananas in Cleveland, goes nuts, goes bonkers, and just wins that game, game six, tomorrow, right, in Cleveland. Forcing a game seven, and you know game seven, LeBron. Even if it's in, even if it's in Boston, can't really count out game seven, LeBron. You got to think the Warriors bounce back at home in Golden State, tie that series three three. But then the Rockets still have home home court advantage. They just got to win game seven. Wow, that'd be crazy. That that would make me look like a genius, though, folks. I had a. Uh, before the series started, I put some pennies on the Rockets to win the entire series and the Cavs to win the entire series. I think they'll at least go to Game 7s, so though. That'll be pretty exciting. I hope they go to Game 7s. There's Lamar Jackson out of 175 for the Ravens. We saw him at the uh, NFLPA rookie premiere. Pretty funny dude. There's Dak Prescott, 299. There's Franco Harris. That, that's him picking up the ball after, after it fell on the ground. Steel Curtain, black and gold, other Steelers fans. That's him. You see them right there. It's like, yep, sploom, scooped up the ball from the ground. Here I go. <laughs> Here he goes. Out of 50, Larry Little. Max asking, what, what's our biggest hit tonight? Max obviously doesn't follow us at Jaspie's Hobbyland. Twitter. There's Trubisky. Trubisky Relic going to the Bears. That'll be for Sam. Out of 
I can't wait till there's a there's a grainy Zapruder film, Zapruder type film that comes out, Steel Curtain, of the ball hitting the ground. There's Jets in '68. Don't have Twitter? I guess you'll never know. You can still go to Twitter. Twitter.com slash Jaspi's Hobbyland. It's not a blocked account. You don't have to have a Twitter app to go see it. You can just open up a web browser. Twitter.com slash Jaspi's Hobbyland. And, and check it out, Max. Go check it out. It's worth it. And then you come back and tell me what our biggest hit of the night is. Joe Theismann out of 25. Snap. Too soon on that? Is that not nice? Is that a microaggression? Now, I'll bet those films have been replaced. Steel Curtain. You you know you know the Roonies are all all in on that. They had NBC or whoever was broadcasting that game. There's Baker Mayfield. They 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 made sure that all the other camera angles were burned. I guess I guess they go to film. They don't go to film, but all those film canisters, they just melt those, they just burned them down. King D and his Rockets, he's happy. There's the Magic Man there too. Um, <laughs> Steel Curtain paid to have them destroyed. And we've got Warren Sapp. Nice Warren Sapp autograph. Buccaneers. That goes to... Scott V. There you go. <laughs> All right, King D. I'll see you, man. And that is out of 15. Five out of 15 Warren Sapp for black and gold. Nice. This classic looks pretty nice. We got more classics in the store, folks. Out of 299, there's Eric Dickerson. I feel like every year... Every year it gets better and better. I don't think the first year wasn't as first year was okay when they came out with classics, but you can kind of see the direction they were going in, and I think they're starting to as the years go by, they're really starting to realize the direction of classics football, this brand right here, which is really nice. I like seeing the evolution of products like this. You know, putting in nice hits helps too. So they definitely took, put a focus on that. Okay, three boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. That's right, Max. That was the big hit. It's probably one of the one of the biggest hits out of that one. Um, after this, this break is going to be over in about 15, 20 minutes or so. So we're, we're pretty much done. We're going to be looking ahead to the next break. Some of the guys in the chat are saying, let's do that tier one. Are we down to single digits in that? We are down to single digits. We're down to eight in that. So it looks like anybody... Okay, I don't know if anyone's going to be bold enough to buy the Angels straight up. So I'll, after this break is over, we will... Um, uh, I will put the uh, the angels in a spot random. I'll put them in a spot random, and then um, we'll have to fill that one up too. But it, so if you want to buy the angels straight up, you're gonna have to do it in the next 15 minutes or so, 15 20 minutes. Oh no, yeah, sorry, Max, my bad. This is the biggest hit of the night, easily. Easily the big hit, biggest hit of the night. <laughs> top load. I kept touching it, so I was like, I might as well top load it. This is, this is easily the biggest hit of the night right here. Ovs. Steely McBeam. Old Steely McBeam. We're going to learn all about him after this break. A off camera. Off the record. Do, some, do, do a deep dive on Steely McBean, his history, what his deal is. 
don't know. The Raiders don't have lovable, uh, lovable mascots like that. <laughs> we're just, we're just scary pirates that will, you know, pillage and and R and whatnot. Nick Chubb to ninety nine. And Jordan, Jordan Lasley, 20 out of 99. Looks like breaking off a nice catch and run against our rivals, USC. Uh, Lasley, where did, you, where did you go again? He went to the Ravens. Purple Birds. That goes to you, Joe. Joe Howard with that one. Arthur in the house. Uh, and Brandon, I don't think... I, well, I don't know, actually. No, I do have the checklist up right here. I don't think so. No, Maurice Jones drew not in this. The only Maurice in this product would be Maurice Hurst. Mo Hurst for the Raiders. Yes, yeah, see the beam definitely, definitely construction. Andrew K, being from the Steel City, of course. There's award winners, Nick Foles. But one wonders why he's uh, on that beam. That's kind of dangerous if he's on a working on a sky rise or something like that. On a skyscraper. There's Barry Sanders, two ninety nine. You got to wonder. You gotta wonder what the heck he's doing. That's dangerous. Punting footballs off of a steel beam? Not sure. That sounds dangerous to me. Maybe maybe he has maybe he has some issues. There's uh Akram Wadley out of two ninety nine. It was pre OSHA, yeah. There are no regulations there. They they made him uh You know, they, they made him work probably until the unions came along and ruined it. Right, Steel Curtain? Until the, until the unions came along with their, with, the, with their workers' rights and whatnot. Classic combos, Jared Goff, Cooper Cup. It goes to the Rams, EA. But yeah, before he was, he's working... 18 hour day. Saquon Barkley, nice. Another one out of 175. I'm sending you that base card too, Robert. And you'll also get this chrome one as well. Giants with that one. Arthur saying he punts beams. Well, yeah, nowadays, Chris, nowadays, he's getting all sorts of union breaks and whatnot. There's Howie Long out of 50. Steely McBeam right now has a nice, comfortable pension. There's the Buccaneers. I love, look at that. Is he winking? I didn't realize he's winking. Look at that. What a smarmy dude. There's Justin Tucker. We saw his autograph earlier. Kind of a smarmy dude, right? That Buccaneer. Now you compare, compare these two guys. They're, they're, there's blue collar... You know, rust belt, steel worker, Merca. And then you got this sassy guy in Tampa Bay. You know, some sort of Don Juan down there. Drinking up the fountain of youth. I don't know about that guy.
Sam Banks saying that Steven Jackson said the other day that he's the greatest Ram running back of all time. Of all time? I think a guy named Marshall and a guy named Eric might have something to uh, might have something to say about that. Wow. <laughs> Does it kind of look like George Michael, Brandon? Yeah, I guess he kind of does. I guess I guess if there was ever a movie about that Buccaneer, it would be uh, it would be maybe we'd cast George Michael. Oh, not just for the Rams of all time. Wow, that's uh, yeah, right, Kyle Kramer. We got to drug test that guy. I like the confidence though. You know, I I think I think you have to. Uh, I mean, to be a successful professional athlete, in my opinion, you got you got to have that kind of almost near delusional sort of confidence to get you out out there on the field every day and compete. I get that, but oh oh oh, so not of all time, but just for the Rams organ, the Rams history, St. Louis and L.A. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So a guy named Eric and a guy named like Marshall probably have some objections to Steven Jackson's comments. Steven Jackson was great for like a year or two, a couple years, but yeah, all, okay, all-time Rams, all right. But that's, that's still crazy, though. Even if he's just talking just for the Rams, they're, they've got a pretty good running back history. All right, second to last box, good luck. That one's numbered right there. Dangerous, 17 out of 99. Composers. Speaking of the Rams, there's Jared Goff, Cooper Cup. Yeah, there you go. Bulldog fan. It's obvious that, that Steven Jackson is showing the signs of, of CTE. This is this is definitely clear. Blank back. One out of thirty-five. That's a nice one for the Ravens, Purple Birds, Joe. It's a real thing, folks. We're, we're seeing it happen. Steven Jackson right now. Gilbert Brown out of 99. Packers. Out of 299, Troy Fumagalli. Riley Ferguson, Jason Taylor, there's the Denver Broncos, right there, it's a lot of games that they won. Out of 299, Des Bryant, has anyone signed Des Bryant yet? Out of 99, MJ Stewart. And there's Mike White. Out of 25. I'm going to guess he went to the Cowboys. Yes. I'm learning, folks. The old, the old, the old memory machine is working. I'll be I'll be in mid season form in no time. Few few more of these products. Few more of these products I'll know. I'll know them all. There's the Niners in eighty nine. Nice. Saquon Barkley. Vaughn Miller. This Dick. Dick Buckus, that is. Family show. Obviously, I meant Dick Buckus. All right. Second to last box. Done. Last box coming up. Good luck, everybody.
I think I feel like we've learned a lot today, folks. We've learned a lot. <laughs> it's been quite a journey over the last hour. We learned a lot about us. We learned a lot about ourselves. We learned a lot about Stephen Jackson today. Learned a lot about these two guys right here. All right, let's see what we're going to learn here, folks, in the last box. Right, exactly, Brand Thomas. Hashtag family show. I meant Dick Buckus. That's what I meant. All right, classiques. As the French would say, classiques. Down to our last box. Good luck, everybody. We've got a fresh case, and a new inner from a fresh master case. Available on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So get into it before it's all gone. I think that's our last master case. Good luck to everybody. I know. Now that's the end of an era, Steel Current. Steel Current's like, I'm gonna miss the Jake Butt tight end jokes with the new rookie class. I'm sure we'll find someone. There'll be new jokes, Steel Curtain. That's that's what's great about this. You know? There'll, there'll be new jokes, new rookies. New rookies, new jokes. And you know what? If Jake Butt ends up being a great tight end for the Broncos. You know, great tight end for the Broncos. He'll be in more products. We'll, we can still make the jokes. Unless Jake Butt bottoms out. All right, we got Alvin Kamara. Oh, yeah, that's true. We do have Chubbs. Got a couple Chubbs. Well, I'm sure I'll figure out a joke for those Chubbs. Nick Chubb, Bradley Chubb, and Chubbs. There's the Cowboys right here. Again, Pennant. We got, that card is gold. 1965, Deontay Burnett. Hey, Andy, we, we, we had a whole football season full of those jokes out of two ninety nine. You should have seen me about a year ago when we were doing products like this. The first time I realized that, that Jake Butt was actually a tight end, you should have seen the look on my face. I was like, no way. That's just too good. I, I couldn't write a joke better than that. It just that tells itself. Edron James to 99. And that was the whole season. Out of two ninety nine, Roger Staubach. Royce Freeman is your final autograph. Oregon's Royce Freeman. I don't remember where Royce Freeman goes. <laughs> yes, yeah, the C.J. Beathard one was good too. Broncos for Royce. That goes to Brandon in the Broncos. The Malik Hooker. Yeah, wow, well, I'm going to miss that joke too. For the Broncos, there you go, Brandon. And we should have one more relic to close things out, plus whatever low number parallels we have here. Out of 299, Azim Victor. And there's our dual relic, classic combos. Aaron Rodgers, Jordy Nelson, fries and a shake. Classic combos. Mm, classics. 
And last, anything else maybe? There's Ray Lewis. What time is it? Game time. Out of 299. And there's Warren Sapp. We saw his autograph earlier. Old, old sappy sapster. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> remember when well, remember Warren's. It's a family show, but remember what Warren Sapp did? Super Bowl was it Super Bowl week? He, uh, he decided to to maybe go to a house of ill repute to solicit some services. I think that was. I'm pretty sure it was Warren Sapp, right? It was not good. Not not a, not a good look for him. All right, I don't think we have any randomizers except for this left-right randomizer. So if there are any any cards with two different teams on it, well, it'll be on, either on the left or right side. No points in this inner case either. So let's go to random.org. Let's roll some dice. Left, right. Simple as that. Let's randomize that. Nine times, six into three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Left side will get them. There you go. Left side cards will get those. Rick's going to miss the, uh, oh, the, the return of the Mac. Well, I, I like that one too. Um, this smarmy guy. And this tough guy right here, we learned a lot about those guys today. We got a nice Josh Allen hit out of three. I'll be on the Twitter at Jaspies Hobbyland, Instagram at Jaspies Hobbyland. And I'll see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.